welcome to my YouTube channel. Finally, finally, it's here. I'm a mess. <laughs> Uh, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, the more support, the more videos I can make for you and I would absolutely love that. And if you have any suggestions on makeup looks or product reviews, please leave that in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and see you later, bye! I have already prepped my skin with like moisturizer and all that good stuff. Right here I'm taking the Fenty Beauty primer. This is going to fill in like pores, fine lines and it's gonna make sure that you have like a smooth canvas to start off with. So onto foundation, I'm gonna take this Fenty Beauty foundation, I'm in the color 220, just in case if you want to know. Taking some onto my beauty blender, I'm just going to bounce that into the skin. Always remember to just bounce it and not like wipe it, because that's gonna give you the best result. taking the Tarte Shape Cape Concealer. I'm gonna use this to brighten up my under eyes as well as the center of my forehead and a little bit on the chin as well. With my Beauty Blender I'm just going to bounce that into my skin. Here I'm taking my translucent powder, this is the one from uh, Laura Mercier. It's very important to set your foundation and concealer, that way it's not going to crease and it's going to stay good all day. Here I'm taking the Max Select Sheer Pressed Powder and I'm going to set the rest of my face, that way it is sealed and it's going to stay put all day. Moving on to the brows, I'm taking Fluid Line in Deep Dark Brunette from MAC and a small angled brush. So I always start with making the tail of my brow, like the outside of my brow. And you always want to like follow the, your natural hair growth. So as you can see, I'm just like drawing small hair strokes and I'm just going with my natural hair growth. In the beginning of my brow, I just draw them more upward. That way you're gonna make them look fluffy and as natural as possible. So normally I would do my eyes first, but I was feeling so plain, so that's why I'm gonna do some contour first. I'm using the MAC Contour Palette and a small 109 brush. So what I always do is I start from the middle part of my ear and working my way towards the corner of my mouth. That's like the line I'm going to follow. And whatever is left on the brush, I'm just following my hairline. 
Uh, you can also try the fish face if you don't know what I mean. You can like suck in your cheeks and follow that like shadow, that line. Right here I'm just hiding the fact that I have a sugar addiction and I'm hiding my five double chins. You can also do that. <laughs> Here I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks. This is the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. This is my absolute number one favorite bronzer and I'm just going to take that on a large fluffy brush. I'm just going to place that a little bit higher than my contour. So here's the star of the show, this is the Huda Beauty Nude Palette and I'm absolutely obsessed with these colors. Starting off with the, wait I'm gonna have to check what color this is, oh damn. Uh, starting off with Secret, it's like a medium warm brown shade. So with a MAC 217 brush, it's like a fluffy blending brush, you just want to pack that color into your crease and blend that out so you have no harsh lines. I'm always starting at the outside of my eye, working my way in. Going in with the next color, this is the shade Raw from the palette and I'm going to take that on a slightly smaller uh, blending brush from MAC. Packing that color on the outside of my eye, working my way in again. But you want to keep that color a little bit lower than the first one, so you have that natural fade. Going in with the next shade, this is the color Tease from the palette and I'm going to blend that into my crease as well with the same brush because I just wanted my crease to be a little bit more intense. You won't always see this in the video but I usually go back and forth into my colors and into my brushes. That's number one key when you work with eyeshadow, just go back and forth into your colors. Sometimes you just want to soften up some edges or make colors more vibrant. Just make sure that you always work on the same spot with the same color so you don't mix them all together into one color. On to the next color, this is the shade Love Bites. I'm going to take this on a small pencil brush from MAC. Focusing this color on the outside of my eye, just smudging it down the lash line and a little bit into the crease as well. Taking that same color on the same brush, I'm just going to smudge that on the lower lash line as well. Here I'm going in with a black eyeshadow. This is from her rose gold palette since Love Bite was the darkest shade in the nude palette. I felt like my eyes just needed a little bit more dimension so I'm focusing this on the outer corners of my eyes as well. So here's the fun part, I'm going to apply these multi-reflective shadows, I'm going to take Fantasy and Daydream, mixing these two together with my finger and I'm just going to press that onto my eyelid.
Okay, so moving on to liners. This is the brush stroke liner from MAC. Okay, so this part was very hard to film because I was very focused on what I was doing. If you want to see an in-depth video of liners and how I do my wing liner, please let me know in the comments down below. These lashes are my number one obsession. Like, I feel like this can change your whole entire makeup look. This is the Ivy Lash from Queen Tarzi. So what you want to do is apply the glue to the strap of the lash and then you want to wait like 30 seconds so the glue can get a little bit sticky. That is going to make your application so much easier. With a MAC lash applicator, I'm just putting the lashes as close as possible to my own natural lashes. Here I'm taking a black call pencil, this is the one from Urban Decay, the 24 hour glide on pencil and I'm just going to line my top and bottom waterline. I'm going to highlight with the Jeffree Star Supreme Frost in the color Wet Dream. Taking some product on a 240 brush from MAC and I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones. <laughs> I'm using the Maxor lip pencil and I'm just going to outline my lips and color them in just a little bit. Here I'm taking the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in the color Bombshell. And that's it. That's the whole entire look. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye! Better, bro.